about it, Jim Feist and Hank Goldberg. We had a little technical difficulty here this morning. But Hank, good morning, and I know we're pressed for time now because of the uh, computer crash. But um, let's talk a little bit about what's on your mind for the weekend. We want to deliver some winners to the customers. Of course, everything's going to be on jimfeist.com. And uh, because of technical difficulties, you might want to go there and pick up all the information that you need for this weekend. Hank, what's on your mind for this weekend? Well, I'm uh, really zeroing in on the NFL this weekend. <clears throat> Didn't have a good week last week, but I'm off to a good start this week, as you are. <clears throat> Excuse me, Tennessee wow. was very impressive last night. And, uh, you know, once again, you looking at that Jacksonville team, uh, the mystery is how Jacksonville possibly beat, beat Indiana, Indianapolis last week. So you wonder what Indianapolis team is going to show up. Uh, and, you know, Indianapolis uh, has not played all that well uh, on the road against uh, against Houston. Uh, but uh, that number is a little bit inflated right now. Houston's playing well. Uh, but that's an interesting matchup there. Uh, Luck, you know, was shut out last week. And uh, after, you know, nine games where he had three touchdown passes or more, and he's going up against a real good defense again this week. So uh, that's an interesting game. you got a lot of interesting games. you got, you know, the Rams going into, uh, you know, freezing weather with high winds in Chicago. And it's the winds that make that place tough when it gets cold. And you got Goff, who's a California guy, going in there against that defense. And uh, that'll be... Uh, uh, curious, who you know, who, which defense is going to rise up and beat the other? Um, and you know that's you know that's that's a rib- And then you got the Dallas Philadelphia game. I wasn't impressed with Philadelphia last week. I thought they did not play all that well against the depleted Washington team. And now they're playing a very hot Dallas team. Dallas has, I think. Uh, uh, the best player on the field in Ezekiel, not just for his running capability, but for his pass receiving capability. And uh, I think uh, Philadelphia, with its problems on defense and its secondary, right now with the people who are hurt there, uh, is going to have some issues. And of course, Dallas's defense. Uh, I know Sproles is back for Philadelphia, which helps them, but uh, Dallas's defense is going to be. Uh, is going to be tough. I'll tell you something. If it wasn't for last night, if it wasn't for a couple of mistakes that were made by the special teams on Tennessee, they would have shut out that team. Yeah. Yeah, it did actually, because of that, it did actually go over the total by a couple of points. It, opens, it was 38, 37, and then it ended up to 39. So the under betters who should have won lost, actually. But you and I were... Fortunate we were on Tennessee. So, um, you know, there, there are some interesting games. I mean, it is the end of the season. We're down to the last quarter, like you said. Big Monday night game. The Monday night game is awesome. The uh, Vikings against the Seahawks. Uh, the Steelers, who've been really disappointing the last three weeks, they got lucky to beat Jacksonville. Uh, they did lose to Denver, and they lost last week to the Chargers. They're out at the Raiders. Laying double digits, um, you know they don't have a history of playing very well in Oakland, but there they are, and they need to turn it around. Um, you talked about the Cowboys and the Eagles, of course. Um, we don't know what we're going to get from the Packers and the Falcons. I mean, these are two teams that had high aspirations for the year, but it's really turned out to be a terrible situation for them. And this is the first game. Without Mike McCarthy, I don't know. He's he was there for over a decade, wasn't he, Hank? Thirteen years. Wow. They let him come back this week and talk to the players <laughs> and the coaching staff, which I thought was a nice gesture on their part. And uh, but uh, he's he's out of there, and uh, now they're you know searches on for a new coach. Uh, you know the uh, the Seattle Minnesota game. Is, a, is an interesting one. Minnesota last week was in New England. Now they've got to go as far as you can go the next week. 
That's a tough deal. Not only that, but Cousins does not play well in big games, particularly in prime time. And, uh, you know, he's always off when the, when the uh, spotlight is on him. And uh, his two uh, wide receivers, one of them is playing hurt. And meanwhile, Seattle right now, uh, they've got a good uh, good receiver they've uncovered. Uh, their running game leads the league right now. They've got three good running backs. They're number one in rushing, and their number one, and their defense right now is in the top five in every category. But uh, their running game has really made it possible for Russell Wilson uh, to uh, not have to run very much, and also uh, to be patient. And it's really improved his passing game. And right now, Seattle, I don't think anybody wants to see them in the postseason. Uh, but, uh, you know, they've done, he's done a great job with that team. And, and uh, he, he's, he's got the perfect team for the postseason, a team that can play defense, a team that can run, and he's got a good quarterback. Yeah, this is a, you know, go back a couple of years, a championship team that, you know, almost won a, uh, an extra, another Super Bowl in that one play at the end. But, you know, Wilson and Pete Carroll has done a great job. In season, he has kind of rebuilt this team. It, they started out rough. They didn't look good early. But they certainly have turned it around. It'll look very strong right now. That's for sure. The Texans are on a nine-game winning streak. Um, the knock on that is... Some of the teams they played weren't all that good, but you only play the teams that are put in front of you. And the Colts coming off that, this, I mean, that's, this is a very big game, but nobody can really explain how the Colts got shut out by the very team we saw last night give up 30 points to the Titans. That was, I mean, just the NFL is, you know, it's, it stands for not for long because... You never know what you're going to get from one week to the next. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. Romeo Cornell's a smart guy. He's going to look at that film and, and uh, take a look at what Jacksonville did to them and how they confused Luck. And he's going to pick up on some of the things that they did because his defense right now is as good as anybody. And, you know, he's got those three guys who are going to be able to put pressure on Luck. And uh, I know that the Indianapolis coach, likes to run the ball, and he runs on first and second down an awful lot. He puts luck in the compromising uh, positions on third down, and uh, they put pressure on him. And if he does that against Houston, they're going to be in trouble. That, that is very definitely. The Panthers have really um, turned the corner in a bad way. They've been playing very poorly. Cam has looked very bad. Now, you don't you think there's a possibility Cam won't even play this week? Well, he injured his shoulder last week, and uh, he threw four interceptions. Uh, and uh, people who uh, know about quarterbacks say that he looked terrible at the end of the game. He could, all of his mechanics were off, and uh, he has not been able to practice this week. So the uh, likelihood of him not playing this week or are probable right now. So, uh, but the way he's playing, uh, I don't think they'll miss him. But, uh, you know, and, and uh, the tight end is out for the season, and they'll miss him. So, uh, you know, right now, except for McCaffrey, uh, they don't have much offense going for him. And their defense, they fired the two defensive coaches, the uh, defensive coordinator and, uh, and their secondary coach, and so the head coach has taken over the defense this week, which is a sign of panic. But they've lost four straight games, and uh, mainly their defense has been terrible. So, uh, uh, you know, they, they, I, I think they're done. They're toast. Yeah, it looks that way. And uh, in Atlanta going against Green Bay, they're, they're, those two teams are toast. So there's a couple. You know, we're down to the end of the season, and a lot of teams are out of it. But the teams that are still in it, and then other guys are playing for their jobs, even though they're not looking at the playoffs, they're playing to get have a job next year. So there's a lot of very important situations out there. 
Hank's plays in mine are up at jimfeist.com. You can go there and, and check it out. We've got a lot of basketball this weekend. We've got the NFL this weekend. And we've got college bowls coming up as well. And Hank, uh, unless you have anything else to add before we close off, uh, I want to thank you for your time again today. Okay, Jim. Oh, yeah, you mentioned about, uh, we didn't mention that college basketball game in this segment, but uh, there's a good one tonight. Oh, uh, that, Arizona State, Nevada. Yeah. That's a neutral court game. Both teams are undefeated. you got Musselman against Bobby Hurley. It's, a, it's going to be a great game to watch. And the better. Yeah, there's a turn. There, there's a tournament in uh, Madison Square Garden, I think, this, this weekend too. So uh, that'll uh, be. There's some interesting matchups there, and uh, they've got some good teams playing in that. So uh, lots of good basketball. Uh, uh, teams are uh, keep an eye on that Auburn team. Boy, they they are a scoring machine. They are very good. They're doing a great job down there. Thank you, Hank. I appreciate it. Okay, have a good weekend. You too.